Okay, y'all. I think we just need to just go on and talk about it. Let's talk about the winners and the losers in this whole <clears throat> YouTube witch debate battle war scenario. So, <clears throat> I'm on YouTube. You guys know I've been doing my readings for the last couple of years and, and I'm not that consistent. I do them when I get the feeling to do them and I don't do them when I don't get the feeling to do them. And... Me personally, before I get in all, into all these wish debates, me personally, I don't feel that, um, well, let me start off even with the term, oh, no, no, I'll get to that. But me personally, I don't feel like spirituality is something to be played with. I know we're in the age of Instagram and social media, but you always have, just like music and, and everything like that, you always have like your top big selling artist who music may not really carry no deep message, whose music is not a, about shit. I'm black, so I'm going to talk about black music. A lot of these rappers nowadays who have music about drugs, killing each other, all that kind of stuff, right? And that stuff will sell and they'll be really, really popular artists. But then you have your artists who music has a message. Like your Bob Marley's, your Kendrick Lamar's, your... um. J. Cole's or uh, people of that nature and, and or your Erica Badu's. And what you'll notice is sometimes the, and I'm going to call the the drug culture rap, the, the music that's just about like sex or low level things, that stuff will sell a lot. And those people will make a lot of money, but it doesn't make them real. It doesn't make what they're portraying to you real. It's real as far as the Matrix being real. It's absolutely real in that sense. It's real as far as, far as brainwashing the masses. It's absolutely real in that sense. But when you talk about the things that really matter on a soul level, a lot of times those artists won't be the artists who sell or make the most money. But we're in a world where if you get in a bag or you making the money or you're the most popular, then that somehow equates you to realism. But there's a complete different uh, difference between being surface level real and being soul level real. When you're vibrating from a lower perspective versus when you're vibrating from a higher perspective. And like for an example on my channel, I don't do a lot of like, I don't just extend myself to just anybody to do a reading. Even if somebody emails me and they want to read, if I don't feel any energy, I won't do it because things aren't about money for me. Things aren't about getting a bag. We all, we live in a matrix. So we got to, money makes the world go round. So you have to know your uses for it and you have, you do have to get money, but it's a, it's a righteous way and a non-righteous way that you do that. So um, when I see the community of quote unquote witches or spiritualists and things like that, I can automatically tell who's in it for the money, who's in it for the views um, and who's doing it for the popularity and to get their money versus people who may really believe in it and feel it on a spiritual level. And spirituality can still be exploited. And if you're dealing in spells or you're dealing in a cult you're even dealing in tarot readings I mean it's certain things that you just if you're really real about it and you're really connected to what you do and you believe that it that it exists on a realm of um on a otherworldly realm, such as it really goes down to your spirit and it reverber reverberates through lifetimes. It's just certain things you don't do, no matter how much money one offers you, no matter how much popularity and money you can stand to gain from people, because this has always been the case. The masses are always at a lack. The masses are always thirst thirsty for something. There's a lack of um, righteousness, integrity, and spirituality that, that exists in people. So there are people are at such a low moral point. I'm talking about people on, on a grand scale. Of course, there's several of us that aren't, but people on a grand scale are just so morally empty, so morally bankrupt that when they see something that they believe can help them or um, something that can um, 
benefit them or something that that's given what they lack or portrays to get what they lack, they can gravitate towards that. And people will pay their money and people b- will believe in people. But it's just like when a pastor in a church. Most of these churches are fake and fraudulent and you give your money and it goes in that preacher's pocket. And now he's living a big house. He's driving Bentley's Benzes. You have a church on every corner, but not every church. Most churches aren't helping a neighborhood because if you have a church on every corner that has a decent sized following and people are coming in to that church, giving money, then there's no reason the neighborhood should look like they look. There should be, there's no excuse for a ghetto. There's no excuse for the poverty. There's no excuse for the um, homelessness, the abuse in the black community or in any community for that matter. If uh, churches are raking in millions and billions of dollars and it's the same thing in the spiritual world. If you really truly believe And what you do, you don't just hand it out like that and you don't just spread yourself thin. So when I see the whole community of witches and people on YouTube, you have to know that most of that, most of those people are doing what they're doing to get your money or to get the following or to get the views on YouTube because YouTube pays people. If you have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch um, hours, then you can get paid by YouTube. And if your videos are getting the likes and the views, then you can get a pretty good check. Some people make pretty good money from YouTube, but it's off the basis of um, almost uh, feeding off of people's weaknesses, feeding off of the lack of of um the the lack of spirituality that spirituality that people have is like supply and demand if people are low on something and you um portray as if you're supplying it people are going to flock towards you and they're going to pay their money because the the masses are easily swayed the masses of people are so bankrupt in their spirituality in their confidence in their love for self that it is easy for somebody to come along claim they're a witch or claim they're spiritual and take their money so um and just to start off with that term witch i don't like the term witch i would never call myself a witch um myself i've been spiritual all my life and um i've been doing tarot readings probably for like three or four years, but I've always been into astrology and I've always been into spirituality since a child. I can't even tell you what age it started from, but it's, you know, anybody that knows me will tell you, you know, oh, she talked about those, these things when she was younger. And as you grow, you know, you put the picture together and you put the pieces together. But, um, I remember I had took an astrology class a couple of years ago And, you know, you meet people of obviously people who are interested in astrology. You meet people of like your like tribe because not everybody I go talk to most people, especially, you know, now it's getting more popular. But people will think of it as a pseudo science or they really don't believe in astrology. So when I took this class, I was meeting a lot of people who believed in the things I I believed in. They were spiritual um, so you would say your brujas or or people you would call witches or things like that. And as I was meeting those people and kind of getting into that stuff, I was thinking, oh, I, I started to use this term because I, I don't have anything against quote unquote witches. I mean, we all know about witches. I, I don't have anything against it, but I never, ever me being um a black person, I never thought of myself as a, like a witch. So I was kind of getting in the circle of women who would call themselves witches or whatever the case. And I was kind of going down that path, but I never was comfortable calling myself a witch. And I I had to think about it. And I said, you know what? I'm not a witch. I am a spiritual, I'm a spiritualist. I'm a light worker. I'm an energy worker, but never call me a witch because a witch to me, to me, which the, the, even the term or the notion of a witch comes out of that ancient African spirituality or the spirituality that's been here from ages, whether it be the native Americans, the Africans who are already in America and things like that. So this whole thing of witchery and all of that is based really off of energy work and um, spiritual work and things like that. And out of a culture of, of people who believed in things before you could even put terms to them before we came into this whole um, new age of thinking and being, you know what I mean? So I don't like the term witch because to me, it's very fatty. It's like a fad. 
it's like a, a trend to call yourself a witch. And, um, I just, that wasn't appropriate for me because that's not the things that I do. I don't go around putting quote unquote spells and hexes and whatever you want to say on people. I work in energy. I work in spirituality, the laws of um, reciprocity, the laws of laws of what you get out comes back to you positive and negative energy. So, you know, the term witch to me is something that is very fatty. People want to make it seem like they have certain powers or they can do certain things when it's really not the case. So, um, stumbling upon this whole YouTube witch community, which truly I didn't even really know existed because I was never looking into things like that. I was never interested in anything like that, but then I'm starting to see all of these, um, black witches pop up. And then, and, and honestly, when I thought of witch and when I think of paganism and when I thought of like Wiccan, I thought of white people and it's nothing against This is not a racist thing or anything like that. But like I just talked about Africans having their own spirituality and religion. So whether you want to say voodoo and things like that, that stuff comes out of um, culture, religion. It's not a fad of witchery. So when I saw like the whole witch and paganism and, and wicked and things like that, I thought that was just like the white people's virgin version of their kind of like ancient spirituality. So when I see a lot of black people calling themselves witches and things like that, I just really see the trend and I really see the fad. So I've been coming across the videos I've seen. I think I subscribed to a share's channel. I never saw her witch stuff. I just was seeing her videos about girls getting money and leveling up and all of that stuff. And I think she's a Pisces and she's smart. I mean, Pisces are smart people. And I thought, you know, if that's what women were into, if that's what women wanted to do, there was nothing wrong with that. I thought she was kind of pretty smart when it came to giving certain advice about that. And then I'm coming across like um, the witch patrol and I'm telling you the videos are hilarious. I kind of love the way they calling out people. I just think it's, it's, it's funny to me. And to me, if you're on YouTube claiming that you can do certain things, if you're selling certain products and stuff like that, any it's free speech. Anybody has a right to come on and say what they think about you or whatever the case, because that's what YouTube is about is about free speech so i don't get why so many people are mad at the witch patrol channel because they're speaking out against certain witches and people that they don't believe are are really um truly doing what they say they do or they they don't believe in the products that they sell i mean that's their right to have um that opinion and to and to really be honest i feel the same way i feel like it's exploitation if people are out here telling you um, they could sell you certain things or telling you how to do certain things. You have to be really in the internet is broadcast to millions. YouTube is broadcast to millions. If you're a true spiritualist, a true occultist, if you want to call yourself a witch, whatever you are, you don't just put all that kind of information on front street. If you truly, truly believe in spirituality, if you truly, truly believe in the powers of, of um the ancestors and spirits and energy then then that's not something you just spread to the public to use in any which way and then you're creating all of this havoc and these false narratives out here with the public that's stuff to be very very careful with and very discerning with if you are truly um uh anointed in what you do that has to be a discernment there but for a lot of people it's all about money and you could tell by the things that they do on their channels you know what i mean but that's going to come back on those people's like i say it's just about the pastor just like the pastor you have i never blame the people who go to church and give their money and tithe and all of that and i'm not going to say blame but when it comes to accountability that pastor is going to be held accountability accountable the sins that that preacher or that pastor commits with the money or in his own personal life where he doesn't really live the message that he's preaching, that law of reciprocity and karma is going to come back on that past. And that's the same thing that's going to happen to these people out here who proclaim to be witches and um, spiritualists and things like that. And they're selling certain things and roping the public in 
to do certain things or believe certain narratives that may not necessarily be true. Because if you're a spiritualist and you have certain gifts and you're trying to show somebody else, you could get people into doing shit that can get them all fucked up spiritually and um, emotionally and just get their life fucked up. So people, your life can be fucked up following somebody and you, you don't really know the root or the truths about from which they come. So you got to be really, really careful when you're dealing with people that's talking about spirituality or being a witch and things like that. That's not shit to take lightly. So, you know, I just find this whole thing that's going on YouTube. I just find it like crazy because it's very, very crazy. And then I think I was watching and, and one thing about it. Oh, well, I'll say this first. I was watching. I need to write down my thoughts and get them organized. I've been thinking so many things when I watch these videos and I, I'll just have to come back and do another video. But I'll be thinking so many things and I probably forget half of them when I'm sitting here just recording this video off of a whim. But um, then I saw so I saw the witch patrol was kind of going at Ashira and all of that stuff. And then I saw a video one day about um, Ashira saying that they was getting I saw something called like if you want to get on in on this class action lawsuit. And I tell you when I tell you I bust out laughing because I'm thinking, well, if you are spiritualist and you are a witch and you all this, you got all these potions and all these spells and things like that. How the hell are you going to go to take somebody to court for defamation? That was like the funniest shit I have ever heard. See, my bitches don't want you to stop their bag. Motherfuckers don't want you to stop their bag. And, and, and like I said, it sure is a Pisces. And I don't know her personal chart. I think she got some Scorpio up in there. I don't know if she was born in the, in the third deacon of Pisces. Um, well, the second deacon of Pisces, which is going to be the... Um, no, it's the third deacon of Pisces. Because the first deacon of Pisces is Pisces. The second deacon of Pisces is Cancer. The third deacon of Pisces is Scorpio. I don't know if she was born in the third deacon of Pisces. And she got some Scorpio in it. I get a lot of Scorpio energy from her. But um, when it comes to all that witch shit, it's like... Now, if you guys know any Pisces, Pisces are very smart, but Pisces, the Pisces I have known, and this is not all Pisces, they can be, and I'm not saying she is, I'm just saying like the Pisces characteristics. Pisces can be very deceiving. Pisces is not above a lie to get what they want. And Pisces are all, I find that a lot of Pisces are about using people to get what they want. I know several Pisces, like I'm saying, this ain't of all Pisces. I have a Scorpio friend. We talk and I'm a water sign. You know what I mean? And I love my water signs. I got love for Pisces and all of that. But I'm just telling you the truth about what I've seen about Pisces. Me and my Scorpio friend, we talk about Pisces all the time. We like, damn, we water signs and shit, but where the hell Pisces come from? Because Pisces just... I mean, they say they decide to help people and all of this, but I find that Pisces can be very, very self-centered. Pisces can be in, in, into something for what it can do for them. Pisces can be users and abusers. Pisces is a mutable sign. And if you guys know anything about mutable signs, mutable signs can be very unpredictable. They can blow with the wind. It, they cannot stand firm sometimes in, in, with their feet planted firmly on the ground. I've known a lot of Pisces that can be users. They don't mind. They they will ask you. I know Pisces that I don't even know like that. They will ask you for money, for rides. Can you do this? Can you pick my kids up from school? And you're like, bitch, I don't know you like that. Did you really just call here asking me to pick your kids up from school? And I, I had a Pisces ask me that one time. So, you know, um, they'll ask you to borrow money. I mean, they just don't care. And I've known a lot of them to be users and liars. And like I said, that's not all Pisces. There's some beautiful things about Pisces. But what I'm saying is I call water signs, period, manipulators. The Cancer, the Scorpio, and the Pisces. And you guys know if you listen to my videos, I'm a Cancer. And I've called water signs master manipulators. They know how to manipulate people's emotions and feelings and because Pisces is so intuitive they know how to feed off of your emotions and feelings and manipulate them manipulate you for their benefit 
And that's just the point dead on his point blank end of the day truth. And if you're listening and you've known any Pisces, you know, I ain't telling no motherfucking lies. And with the cancer, I think the lady on witch patrol, I know one of them named Sandy, but the one who's always talking with the head wrap, I think she stated she's a cancer. Now cancers can be bullies. I've heard my sister is Aquarius and she always say I'm a bully. My little cousin is a Leo. She'll probably say I'm a bully too. But the thing about it is I'm not a bully in the sense of I just fuck with people to be fucking with people. But we'll fuck with people when we really think you wrong. Again, we are water signs. So we will see through a lot of shit. And we can, I don't care what kind of facade you got on the outside. I see straight through that. And I was telling my, my Scorpio friend the other day, sometimes I hate being able to see people's real intent and see who people truly are and being able to see through people. Sometimes I just didn't wish I didn't see that. Because it would be so much easier to roll with the bullshit and get along in this earth plane that went on. If you could just roll with the bullshit, it's hard seeing the truth of a lot of things because then you just have a, 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 a you just have a dynamic against the world where it feels like you're alone because you really see what's what and you don't get caught up in that facade or in that matrix of things so it makes it hard to go along and get along with society and so with the witch patrol yeah she may be bullying she may be and I really wouldn't call it bullying, but she may be really getting on some people's asses. But I think that's because that's really how they feel. And they probably really feel, feel this whole fad of witchery and what's going on. And it's, try, and it's trying to tell people, look, look, before you spend your money or you do this or you do that, you need to be careful who you're dealing with. And, and you know, because this, this shit here is not a joke. And I'm sure there are people on here who are really about what they say they about when it comes to anybody calling themselves a witch I can't I can't take seriously period if you're calling yourself a witch I, I mean that's just not that's faddish to me and that's not based in uh culture it's not based in culture to call yourself a witch and um you know, I, I can't really get with that. But I think, you know, the nature of a cancer is a pessimist. You know, cancers are against the grain. They don't go along to get along with it, everything. So if you got all these people, we don't like the popular opinion. So if somebody's very popular at doing something, then we might have something to say because we like, hold up. I'm not going with the opinion of everybody else. I'm not going with the opinion that everybody's talking about. So, um, you know, with the cancer personality, that can be a factor as well. And, um, and in any sign, you could just have people who are playing crazy. You could have people that are playing crazy, but I found that hilarious about people who say they here, say they magical and shit, wanting to go to the, to the court. <laughs> wanting to go to the ju judicial system and the white man's judicial system that's just funny y'all got jokes and then I was I happened to see so all of these like YouTube witches are getting in on this when I watch the witch patrols videos I see comments from different people and I saw so somebody I guess the witch patrol had made a video about the lady named Jamila and she does tarot readings. I've seen her tarot readings pop up here and there. I wouldn't watch her tarot readings to save my life because I said this on my videos a long time ago. I don't know if it was on my car chats or on my videos, but you got to watch what people do in their personal life. You cannot come on here. And, and this is why I take it so seriously. Like people, if you get in um, certain work done from people as far as in the spiritual world or tarot readings, you have to look at people real life. Now, some people, you're not going to know their real life because they don't put it on here and they carry their self a certain way. Well, fine. Go get a reading from those type of people. But this particular person, Jamila, I can remember like last year and the year before. Oh, my God. I was just watching the videos because I stumbled upon them. You know, you watch certain videos, you'll stumble upon videos. And I said, this lady is crazy. Are people really getting tarot readings from her? And I've seen her numbers come up like over the past year. So and I said, people is fucked up out here. People are really crazy. How can you go to anybody for help when they fucked up? Can't nobody help you. They could just put their bad energy on you. And I've never mentioned names, but I've said in my videos, you got to watch who you go to because y'all going to get tarot readings from people and things like that. But people fucked up in their own life. They crazy in their own life. 
I don't put a lot of my business on YouTube, but my real life is drama free. I don't have no drama. You know what I mean? I was the type of person I could give people relationship advice because I was in a relationship for almost 20 years. And so, you know, when it comes to people relationship advice, I don't even talk to a motherfucker who was not in a relationship longer than 10 years or 20 years. We can't have a conversation because you're not on that level. You can't give relationship advice if you never had a relationship. You know what I mean? And nothing lasts forever. Some things do, but most things don't last forever. But it goes to show the type of person you are when your real life can speak to the advice and the things you're trying to give on social media. I can do tarot readings because I keep my spirit clean. I don't do fucked up shit to people. I don't exploit myself. It's one thing to exploit yourself in your personal life when people don't see. And and I talked about this in one of my videos before. Who I am when you see me. I strive in life to be the same person when nobody's around. And somebody said this. Who was it that said it? I was watching. Was it Dave East? I don't know if it was Dave East and I can't think of it right now. Hopefully it'll pop up in my head before the video ends. And I was like, thank God, because that is the truth. And I've been saying this. It's not who you are when people are watching. It's who you are when nobody's around. It's the shit you do when you by yourself that don't nobody know about. You got to live your life righteous when nobody's around not just when people are looking and when people are around. So everybody, this is a free country. It's free speech, quote unquote. So anybody can get up on YouTube and put up a video, but it's very, it's very disastrous. and It's very dangerous for people to be offering spiritual advice, occult advice, quote unquote, witch advice when their own life is fucked up. So to, to the person Jamila, I noticed she had been commenting on the witch patrol. I guess she in a battle with them too, but, I, it's funny, I was saying the same shit. Like, I cannot believe she actually on here doing readings and people are getting readings or even watching her videos and getting guidance from a person who needs guidance themselves. And that's not to say that maybe that person don't have a gift or they not certain things. But when you fucked up, you shouldn't be on here dealing with other people's energy because you fucking up other people too. And the reason why I say that is because now I used to listen to Alexis Tyler a long time ago. I'm talking like 10 years ago when she first came out, when she was on public access TV, I think that was down in Atlanta when her videos were popping and everything like that. So I used to listen to Alexis a long time ago. So I never paid Jamila no mind. I mean, who cares? But it, these videos started popping up because she and that this shit was broadcasted on youtube why she doing tarot readings and trying to help talk about she got spells and shit to help other people her personal life was a disaster and it was all on the internet she was messing with alexis tyler's son who's half her fucking age and was locked up in jail she had pictures on the internet, doing videos, half naked, shake. I think she had some videos. She's showing her drawers and some videos. And people was going in. It was with her and the girl Turner Tina. Turn, Tina Turner with the guy. It was a guy. I can't remember his name. But he, and I didn't care for him either. But he would be making videos exposing Jamila like every day. And it's, it was so much crazy shit. Like I can't even... Go back and tell you now all of the crazy videos that was on YouTube about her personal life and um, like her child in a video. And just you could tell the parenting skills were extremely questionable. You're dealing with a man um, in jail, half of your age. Um, it was just some despicable and disgusting stuff that was going around with her. But then I'm looking at the numbers going up now because a lot of people probably haven't seen those videos, but I was looking at the numbers going up and I said, damn, Pete, if I was a fake and a fraud and taking everybody money, my YouTube v views would be in a damn millions, but some people don't have the spirit or the soul to do that. And my message with, and, and if you curious about what I'm talking about, just Google De Niro Red and Jamila. I think she was calling herself the tarot queen. Google Alexis 
Alexis Tyler versus Jamila. They was getting into it. They was cussing Jamila out. You could just tell something wasn't right in that lady mind. And I couldn't believe a person like that was on YouTube offering tarot readings to other people. It was crazy. And this shit, if you just getting on this YouTube thing within the past six months or so, you missed all of that. You would have to Google that. Google the team to turn up versus Jamila. Google, I forgot the guy's name, but he was doing, I don't know if his name was Mike. I don't know what it was, but it was so many people talking about the situation doing these videos and it's out there. It's probably still out there if you Google all of that drama that was going on and people like that shouldn't be out here offering services to help other people when they can't even help themselves. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. So at the end of the day, I know what world we living in and I know people getting it, got to get their bag. It is up to you as an individual because what's on them, what they do, that's not right. It's going to come back to them. And the real message to people is not preaching to people about finding sugar daddies or getting um, somebody for their money or um, doing these witchy and occult type things for people. The real message is to teach people self-love. Like you got guys out there. I see the dating channel. You got AMS out there telling guys how to just dog women just fuck women just get them for sex and it just shows you how much of a fucked up world it is you know what i mean and certain people's spirits ain't even meant for that you could be watching somebody and they telling you how to do certain spirit certain occult or quote unquote which things and that might not be meant for you that might not be the path you supposed to walk in your life that shit ain't for everybody but with, with the internet and YouTube and social media, it just makes anybody who want to come on here and spread that message, it just makes it available to sp spread it to a wide amount of people. But trust, if you trust in the wrong people and you deal with the wrong people, you their karma is on them and your karma is on you. It's going to get you fucked up at the end of the day in your own life. And then you wondering why you're not succeeding and things are going bad because you putting you put in what's your responsibility in somebody else's hands. And what people really need to be preaching is a message of love. Uh, they need to be doing the self work to go inside themselves to manifest what they really want to come with them. It's about loving yourself, showing love to yourself in everything that you do, treating humankind, how you will want to be treated. It's enough evil people in the world. It's enough bad shit going on in the world, but I don't see enough of people who truly, truly love themselves and love others in the world. It's enough fuck shit going on in the world, but I don't see enough good shit going on in the world. And we all out here trying to teach people how to get over, how to put a spell on somebody, how to just fuck somebody and dog them out, how to get somebody for their money that you don't even love. You don't even have no feelings for because you don't love yourself. And that's really the problem that's going on out here. And, um, you know, it's a cold, cold world. It's a cold world. So you got to look at this shit on here as entertainment for 99% of the people that's on YouTube. You don't be discerning and be very careful about who you give your energy to and who you deal with because you can't deal with everybody. And you really got to stop following people because you're going to follow them to the road to, uh, to their demise and to your own demise. The quickest way to get yourself killed, the quickest way to get yourself put in harm's way is to follow another motherfucker because people are fought, people will lead you right to the grave, right to your own demise. And I just want you guys to remember that and be very careful when you're dealing with people on the YouTube world, especially when you're dealing with people on a spiritual or occult or metaphysical level. If you really want, and one thing I do um, agree with the witch patrol on, because I've been, this is something, like I said, life will lead you where you're supposed to be. Before you, I was ever into YouTube, before it was ever popping, I can remember I used to listen to Rainbow Soul. So I was about, <clears throat> this is about 10, 15 years ago, probably um, almost 20 years ago now. There was a radio, uh, uh, internet radio network. It was called Rainbow Soul. And then there was an internet um, radio called LIB Radio, ran by Kidi Awadu. Those internet shows were the basis like, of my life. Like I've been to the lectures. I met Kidi. I went to the next lecture to see um, Neely, Neely Fuller, who studied under, um, oh my God, how, how can I forget her name? She passed not too many years ago. 
But um, she wrote the ISIS papers. I've been to a lecture to see him. I've been to a um, lecture to see Anthony Browder. That was what it was really about. Discovering who you are from your history. Getting the knowledge of who you, you and your people are through your history. And finding yourself on a spiritual and a soul level. That'll get you anywhere you want to be. Now, I, I, I believe in energy work. I believe in practicing with energy work. You know, I put my stones outside. I do certain mantras and mantras. Um, I believe in certain things, but um, the whole witch shit, no, it's a farce. It's a farce. And if you really want to know, like back in the day, listening to those radio stations, that's when they used to have the Phil Valentine's come on there all the time. Um, like I said, they would have Neely Fuller on there. Um, they would have Bobby Hammett. They would have Dick Gregory. That's listening to those people. That generation right there would be how you. This a whole fuck generation going on out here now. My generation and the generation under us. But that generation was giving you the knowledge that you really needed to discover self and to elevate yourself to the highest places you can get. You you can't go around putting spells on people, trying to bind people to you, doing certain things. That shit is going to back, backfire. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So don't think you can go to somebody to give you some spell, give you some potion, teach you how to do something that shit's not going to boomerang back and hit your ass. You really got to watch what you're doing nowadays, people. It's not a game and it's not a joke. And um, like I said, I agree in one video, I think, which Patrol said, if you really want to know what's going on, go back and listen to the Bobby, Bobby Hemmets and people like that. That's what you want to do if you're really looking for how to elevate yourself. Listen to the people from that generation that was really given that information, you know, back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, to in the early 2000s. Because right now, this YouTube and this social media thing is all fucked up. I've never seen so many people's lives and relationships and things get ruined like I have in the social media age. And it's, it's just, it's just disheartening to sit around and to look at and to see. So I think that's all my thoughts I wanted to blurt out right now. We may do a part two, but I think this video was needed just to give a perspective as far as what's really going on out here. So this is Madam X. This is Frequency Bro Radio. And I'm out of here. Thank you guys for listening.